Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make the skirt to go with Jazida's new costume. So far, I've made the top part of the skirt and the outside of the bottom part of the skirt. So this is made from a full circle of lining fabric and I've joined five layers of chiffon ruffles, which I've added crystals to, to the outside. And on the inside, I've joined a red petticoat. So I'm about to make the lining, which is going to be red ruffles in exactly the same way. The only difference is it's not going to have the petticoat attached and it's not going to have the extra layer of ruffle joined to the bottom ruffle. It's just going to be a plain ruffle because we don't need quite as much fullness on the inside. So I will show you how I'm going to make that. Then I'm going to show you how I'm going to add the waistband and the embellishments to the top of the skirt and then how I join everything together and finish it. To make the ruffles to go on Jazida's skirt, I've got this polyester chiffon and I've torn strips across the full width of the fabric. I've torn strips that are nine inches across. I've then used my overlocker to join all of the strips together and I've overlocked along one edge and then I've run it through my gathering foot. So I've ended up with one really long strip of gathered chiffon. Next, I'm going to measure the lengths that I need to cut to the ruffles to, to attach them to the circle of the skirt lining. Once I've cut them, I'm going to use my overlocker to do a rolled hem along the bottom and along the two cut ends. Before I attach the ruffles to the skirt, I'm just using my E6000 to attach um, some crystals to the rolled hem edge of it to give it some sparkle as Jazida moves on stage. So I'm going to cut, there's five ruffles all up, so I'm going to cut each ruffle to length edge it and add the crystals then let them dry. To make the skirt lining to attach the ruffles to I'm just using lining fabric I did the same for the black um, just because I'm trying to keep the skirt as light as possible with all the ruffles it, the weight's going to add up quite quickly so I'm trying to use the lightest materials that I can and I'm using my circle skirt pattern and I'm going to cut eight panels and join them all together leaving one seam open for the split at the front of the skirt. These are the panels I actually cut for the chiffon skirt that I made for Cherry Bomb. So I'll link that video above and in the description if you want to go and see how I worked out how to make the full circle. So once I've joined all my panels, I'm going to overlock the seams and hem the open edges and hem the bottom. And I'm going to cut this layer two inches shorter than I cut the black layer because I want to keep the red ruffles hidden a little bit. I don't want them to show too much at the hem. I want them to be... A little bit of a surprise when Jazida takes the skirt off. Now my circle skirt is all joined and um, overlocked and I've sewn the hems and pressed everything. I can start sewing the ruffles on. So my ruffles are going to be at the top and then at 3, 6, 9 and 12 inches down from the top. So I've started just measuring down from the top and putting pins where each ruffle is going to be. And then I can pin the ruffles into place and I'm going to pin and then stitch each one working my way up. So my first ruffle is going to go at 12 inches. At the front I'm just going to turn the end back on itself about an inch just so we get that nice fold at the front rather than the rolled hem. And then I can line it up with my pins and pin it into place. So I'm doing mine this way and I'm going to stitch along that. You could also sew it right sides together, stitch along next to your um, overlocking and have it hang down if you need a neater finish but because my overlocking is going to be hidden under all the ruffles above I'm this is the easier way to do it and they sit a bit flatter but yeah you can do right sides, stitch and then flip down to hide that if you want to. Cool, so I'm going to yeah, pin and then stitch all five of my ruffles into place and then that will be both layers of my skirt finished. The top part of the skirt is made from a single layer of a strong black power mesh which I've stitched and overlocked together at all the seams. And then in the front we've got an open-ended zip so Jazida can open the skirt and take it off on stage. 
The next job I'm going to do is add a waistband. Because the weight of the skirt with all the ruffles at the bottom is going to be quite heavy and this is stretchy without a solid non-stretch waistband on it, it's just going to pull down. So I'm going to use some interface satin to add a waistband. And I'm going to do this before I join the ruffly layers onto the bottom and I'm going to add the crystals to this part before I join the ruffly layers on just because it's going to be a lot easier to work on it without the weight and the size of the ruffles at the bottom. To make my waistband I cut a four inch wide piece of satin and um, it's cut across the fabric so there's no stretch to it at all and I've interfaced it and then I've folded and pressed both of the edges in until it's about two and a half inches wide and then I've pressed it in half so that's going to be the finished width of my waistband. Next I'm just going to open it up and fold each end in until it's the exact length that I need. So I need my finished length to be 25 and a half inches. Next I'm going to pin it right sides together along the top of the waistband finishing the folded edge right by the side of the zip. So I'm going to pin all the way along and then I'm going to stitch right next to this crease here. This is how it looks once it's sewn on and you can see it stops either side of the zip and I've left enough gap that the zip still works fine. So next I can fold it over to the inside, make it neat and then I'm just going to stitch around the ends and along the inside to hold it in place and you can see we'll end up with a, a neat waistband but the zip still opens to the top. That's my finished waistband. I ended up just having to do a bit of machine stitching along the end to hold the zip really tight because I couldn't get the needle through the plastic at the end of the zip. The last jobs I'm going to do on the top of the skirt before I join the bottom on is I'm going to add the same black lace as we used on the corset all around the waist. Then I'm going to add crystals to the black lace in exactly the same way I did for the corset because when it's all together we want it to look like one piece. And then I'm just going to do a little scattering of black crystals all over the skirt. So this is the finished skirt with all of the lace and the crystals sewn on. So you can see I've added the crystals in exactly the same way to the lace as I did on the corset. And then I've just got the scattering of black crystals on the mesh. So the next thing I need to do is join the bottom layers, my big ruffly layers, to this top part. I'm going to start by joining the lining, so the red ruffled layer to the wrong side, the inside of this skirt. So I'm going to put the skirt down upside down and then flip this over and pin it with the right side of the lining to the inside of the skirt. I'll turn it around so you can see it easier. These ruffles are all out the way. I'm just making sure I match all the, the side seams and the centre back seam. I'm making sure none of the ruffles are caught up as I pin it. So I'm going to pin that evenly all the way along and then stitch it. Now the lining layer is stitched into place, I can do exactly the same with the outside layer. Except this time it's going to be right sides together with the outside of the skirt. And I'm going to make sure I line up all of the seams of the outside and the lining as I pin them. And make sure I don't get any ruffles caught as well. Okay, so I'm going to pin all the way along and I'm going to stitch it and then I'm just going to stitch it again from this side just to make sure that none of the stitching lines are going to show on the outside. Okay, I've got all of the layers joined together now. Um, in hindsight, I should have overlocked the top of this before I joined it all together, but I didn't and now it's too chunky to go through my overlocker. But there's enough lines of stitching and this is all hidden on the inside that it won't matter, but that's something I'll know to do for next time. So you can see where you do one side and then the other, the stitching doesn't always line up and that means that some of the stitching can show on the outside. So what I do is after I've got both layers joined onto the skirt, I run another line of stitching, so onto the skirt side of the stitching, not the seam allowance side, and then that evens up the stitching through all the layers so none of your stitching is going to show on the outside. Alright, let's go and put it on the mannequin and see how it looks. So here is how the skirt looks together when it's over the corset body. It doesn't fit properly on this mannequin but you can get the idea of how the waistband blends in there. So the last job I need to do to finish this is to join the lining and the outside layers 
So you're not seeing the inside and you're not seeing the petticoat when Jazida's dancing in it. So I'm just going to pin and hand stitch the fronts together like that. So when it opens up, you're seeing the ruffles and not the petticoat. But you can see how the ruffles look on the inside as it opens up. I mean, it's going to be really pretty on stage and the sparkles look great on the inside. So this is how the front looks now. I've sewn everything together. So I've sewn the edge of the lining fabric and the um, outside fabric together so the petticoat's completely hidden. And then I've just caught the end of each ruffle down as well. So when it lifts up, you're just seeing all the ruffles joined together like that. So it can be worn with the red really hidden like that. And when Jazida's ready to reveal it, and as she's dancing, you're just going to see that red underneath. And then when she unzips it and takes it off, you'll see those full red ruffles and all the crystals underneath. So here's the finished skirt together with the corset, so you can see how it looks. Um, there's still a jacket to do to go with this, which is going to be really similar, but we're not going to do that for this weekend. So I will film that and share that with you when we make it in the next couple of weeks. But for now, this is our finished costume. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. You are helping me to continue make videos and tutorials like this. Um, if you like my videos, please head over and have a look and consider supporting me over there. And I'll be back soon with a new video. Thanks for watching.